Well, thank you so much. I'm going to give you a second to catch your breath. <laughs> what a privilege it is for me to be at the Assembly Oasis meeting tonight. Wow, you folks came to have a good time. Uh, and I am honored to be here. I do about 150 events each year. I do this full time and, and I do about 150 events each year. So you figure I'm in at least 120 different churches every year. And I don't know that I've ever been spoken to as many times as I have been tonight. Y'all are the friendliest bunch of folks I have ever been around. You have made me feel so welcome before I ever played a note tonight. Thank you. Thank you. This is the way God's people ought to be. Thank you. Uh, I, I commend you. If the pastor wants to come forward, I'll join your church now. Uh, <laughs> I'm never here. I'm never in church. I'm always on the road, but I, I'm a faithful giver. Uh, and so, <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Jeff Leghorn. I live right here in Warner Robins. I actually live in Bonaire. Uh, nobody, when I'm on the road, nobody knows where Bonaire is. Most people have at least heard of Warner Robins. This is where I've called home for 51 years uh, and uh, have grown up in this community and have lived here all my life. God called me into the ministry. I served on the staff of Second Baptist Church here in Warner Robins full time for 14 years, part time for six years before that, and now I've been on the road doing this full-time music evangelism for 13 years. And God has been so good to me. I am... You are looking at someone who the Lord is giving the desires of his heart. This is all I've ever wanted to do is play the piano. And my dad, if he were here, would tell you it's a good thing that I can do that because I can't do anything else. <laughs> But I do spend my life traveling up and down the highways of our country and even around the world sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus, using the gifts that he's given me at the piano. And it's not because of anything that I can do or anything that I am or anything that I've done, but it's all because of who he is and what he did for me and what he wants to do for you if you just let him. That's why I go and do what I do. Because God has been good to me. Uh, I told you I'm the most blessed man in this room. And, and uh, these are a couple of my blessings coming up right now. The young lady that's coming up on stage first is my beautiful daughter. She is 13 years old. She is not married and she is not looking. <laughs> she is in the 8th grade and is doing well. She plays the violin and she does a great job with that. And she sings beautifully. Her name is CJ. She is the apple of my eye, the light of my life. And then this is my nephew. Uh, he is my brother's little boy. And he is 11 years old in the fifth, fifth grade, sixth grade. You finally passed the fifth grade. <laughs> it only took three years. <laughs> okay, so he's in the sixth grade. Uh, and uh, he, he travels with me a good bit and loves to go and, and help me on the road. And... And the good news is that if he spends one more night with me this year, I can claim him on my taxes. <laughs> my brother's not real happy about that, but hey, it is what it is. His name is Parker. They've got a couple of songs they're going to share with you this evening.
Believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He'll take control, make your home, wash your sins away. You'll never ever find another friend like him if you want to have real peace with it. Believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's children, there is coming a day when the sinners of this earth will fall down to pray. They'll wish they had another chance to hear the preacher say, Believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He'll take control, make your whole, wash your sins away. Wanna have real peace with it? Believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He'll take control, make you whole, wash your sins away. Never ever find another friend like him. If you wanna have real peace with it, believe on the name of Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the name of Jesus Christ. Parker, uh, they they are cousins, but they've grown up almost like brother and sister, and they love to sing together. Uh, I have, I know, I know, it's four days before Thanksgiving, but I have a brand new ink is still wet Christmas CD. Whether you like it or not, Christmas is coming. And there was an old English song, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Christmas is coming and I have gotten fat. <laughs> but whether you like it or not, Christmas is coming. Can we do a Christmas song? Yeah. Let me so on my new Christmas CD, CJ's on several of my CDs, but on my new Christmas CD, she's got two brand new Christmas songs. And uh, Parker hasn't learned them yet. And so I asked her if she would sing one of the Christmas songs for y'all, if that's okay. Uh, if we just turn the air conditioner down really good in here and pretend like it's snowing and uh, we'll get some mistletoe or something. And uh, I think you're going to like this.
Santa Claus. But to find the truth of Christmas, you must seek the stable stall and give glory to the child to sleep upon the straw. Tis the season, Jesus is the reason. Heaven's destined down to earth for all. There's just one true spirit of Christmas. Jesus is the reason for it all. Jesus is the reason for it all. Tis the season. Jesus is the reason. Heaven's destined down to earth for all. Christmas
sendeth my way. That's the good times. Or when sorrows like sea billows roll. That's the bad times. And they will come. Whatever my lot, whether it be good or bad, Thou hast taught me to say, It is well. Everything may not always be well. Life is not a bed of roses. Being a Christian is not a cakewalk. But we serve a living Savior who promised us, and you can take it to the bank, promised us He would never leave us or forsake us. In March of 2020, I was coming out of the busiest year I'd ever had on the road. 2019 was incredible. March of 2020, everything looked amazing for 2020. I had a packed schedule. It was going to be a great year. And in 48 hours, it was gone. Gone. And I'm not going to pretend to be so spiritual that I said, okay, everything is fine. It concerned me. Did I mention this is how I make a living? It concerned me. But God, in His mercy, proved over and over again that He would be faithful and that He would never leave me or forsake me. And in the good days, and they were many, and in the bad days, and there were a few, I could still stand boldly and proclaim it is well. <laughs> Pastor Al said, I could keep you up about an hour tonight, but we may stay too if that's all right. <laughs> wow, y'all are amazing. Thank you. Uh, everything, everything that I've done tonight, and I'm not finished, I, just a, a couple more. Everything that I've done tonight, I have on one of my recordings. Uh, out in the lobby, as you go out, I have a table, and uh, there are there are three CDs that are fully orchestrated, just like what you're hearing here tonight. Uh, songs like "A Mighty Fortress Is Our God" from the beginning, "It Is Well with My Soul," "My Tribute with To God Be the Glory," uh, "We Shall Behold Him." I've got that old time religion in my heart. I'm getting ready to leave this world. The unclouded day. It will be worth it all when we see Jesus. All of those and the ones that I'm going to conclude with here in just a minute are on one of those fully orchestrated CDs. There are three different ones. Then I have three that are just soft and quiet piano. No background instruments, no choir, no uh, other orchestra. It's just soft. Piano. Very good just to sit and meditate on God's Word. And then I have three Christmas CDs. Uh, one of them is brand spanking new. It has CJ's song, Jesus is the Reason, along with another one. Uh, and a couple of the ones that I played tonight are on there. And then a couple of older Christmas CDs. And so we've got a wide variety of things for you to choose from. Our family has traveled and sung gospel music for 54 years. Uh, that's older than I am. Uh, and uh, I have our latest three CDs. We don't sing as much as we once did. We, we do maybe a day or two a month now. Uh, but our latest CDs are out there as well. If you have a vehicle that is so old, it doesn't have a CD player in it, I can't help you. I don't have eight tracks. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but if you have a Cadillac, that is so new it doesn't have a CD player I have exactly what you need and that is a USB flash drive 
And I have all three of my orchestrated CDs on one USB drive. So you can get everything I've done tonight except the Christmas on one USB drive. And then I have all three Christmas recordings on one USB drive. So you've got all my Christmas music on the USB. The CDs are 15 bucks each. The USB, you get three recordings on each one for $30. Uh, so if you want one of those, and if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, buy one of the USB drives and ask your grandchildren. They'll tell you what to do. Uh, you can play it in your car, you can play it on your smart TV, you can play it on your computer. Uh, but I do have the USB drives out there uh, and would love for you to take some of my music home with you on either CD or the USB, whichever you prefer. Uh, I, there's all kind of promotional material out there, bookmarks and business cards and newsletters. You can sign up for my mailing list, receive an email from me every month or a printed newsletter every three months. You can do both. It's, all the sign up is out there. Uh, I'd love for you to, uh, to come by and pick some of that up. The kids will be out there with me, and uh, we'd love to fellowship with you and meet you uh, tonight. Cash, check, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, Caramel Cake, Red Velvet, some more of that dressing. It doesn't matter. I'll take any. Uh, and so uh, stop by and visit with us at the end of the, the concert tonight. Uh, just a couple more. I, I promise we'll be out of here before the 11 o'clock news. I promise. I think you're going to like this.
As the Savior was walking up Calvary's hill, all the birds hushed their singing, the leaves stood still, all the flowers in the field
was not intended to elicit laughter. It does seem a bit ridiculous. But it would have been equally as preposterous to the ancient Romans to hear you and me sing, I'll cherish the old rugged cross. For you see, the cross, there was nothing special about the cross. It was simply an excruciatingly painful means of execution at which the Romans were masters. Jesus certainly was not the only person to die on a cross. We know that there were two others that day. And history records that there were others as well. There's nothing special about the cross and as Christians, we shouldn't worship that cross. But we do ascribe all glory and honor and praise to the sinless, spotless Son of God who willingly gave His life on that cross. You see, at the times before Jesus came, the sins of man had to be paid for with the blood of an animal. And every year at sacrifice time, the people would bring their sacrifices to the priest to pay the price for their sins. But when Jesus came, and shed his blood as the spotless Lamb of God. The Bible says that that blood was enough once for all. And his blood has been flowing from Calvary's cross for some 2,000 years now. But it flows just as strong today as it did then. And but one drop of his precious red blood applied to the blackest of hearts, crying out in repentance. That red blood can make that black heart whiter than snow. And when I think that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die. I scarce can take it in. How on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin. There's nothing special about the cross but it was at that cross it was at the cross where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight. And now I'm happy all the day. It was down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was His precious blood applied glory to His name. I will sing of my Redeemer. With His precious blood, He purchased me. On the cross, He sealed my pardon. He paid my debt. He made me free. The love that Jesus showed when he gave his life for us has never before or since been known to man. But that love demands from us our life, our soul, our all. 
Lord Jesus, thank you for the cross. Thank you for giving your life on that old rugged cross to pay the price for my sins, your blood. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We're deserving of none of the three. 